Well, here we are. In northern Arizona on our lot. Camping out. The sun's gone down. Those lights in the distance are other people. Obviously. Uh, we're up in the loft of the... Um, home on wheels here that's where my bed is uh, up over the cab uh, it's a bit of a climb but I sure enjoy it I like being up here better for some reason yeah, it's been a, it got a little warm this afternoon but for the most part this motor home it's got a real spongy ceiling so there's some sort of a insulation in the, that is the actual ceiling and then it's painted over but it has done a fantastic job at keeping the heat out uh, it can hold the cold in too pretty well so but it works well and I'm very pleased with it I'm glad it's not a standard motorhome roof that the heat is comes right through because this afternoon, I'd say we were, we must have got close to 80 by about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But then the sun went down there and everything was fine. Uh, I'm not out in the boonies at all. I actually purchased a lot that's actually in the town. And that uh, makes a difference. That means I've got neighbors and people around. And I maybe didn't give that as much thought as I should have. Because I do like to be rather s alone. I guess. Is the word. You know. Put it right to the point. I like to be alone. I don't like having other energy too close to me. When I'm relaxing you know we've seen that in past uh, times when somebody else's energy gets in the mix can create kind of a mess but so far so good out here everybody is at a good distance from me I'm not picking up anything at all really the only noise that really goes on here at night seems to be that dog barking in the distance. Occasionally a car up or down the road. They are gravel roads. Today I did notice it's going to get pretty damn dusty when then things start rolling up and down them roads in the summer. But this summer is going to be hot girl summer. That's what they told me. Yeah. Hot girl summer. Yes, sir. Right here in Nowhere Land, Arizona. Right. We're going to get out of here soon. Got another infusion coming in Monday. And then uh, we're back on track again. I spent quite a bit of money just getting the, the lot here. So, the next batch, uh, mm, dang, I could sleep already. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next. I do anticipate that I will probably go get the car in Montana and drive it down here. I need to have the car. Um, like today, it would have been nice to drive into town or something. But as it stands, I'd have to drive the motor home in. And the gas station just down the block is $4.22 a gallon. Um, I'm not liking that much. Yeah. State tax, I guess. Anyway, fuel is getting stupid. As it always does as summer comes on. 
And it doesn't help that we've got, you know, morons running the world right now. And other morons that want to run the world. And, well, pretty much we just have a whole lot of morons, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not looking out for uh, America to be great again. I'm not looking out for America to become something wonderful. I think we had our day in the sun and we blew it. And that's pretty much where I'm at. What comes next? Well, I got my own opinions on that. Ergo, my fondness for being above 5,000 feet. It is kind of strange that I'm constantly in high altitude. Yeah, look at all them flashes out there. I see them in the camera. I don't actually see them out there, though. Anyway, this just been a little update. We're in northern Arizona. I've purchased a, a lot in a, a town here. Uh, it's not a very busy town. Nothing crazy going on. But this is where we're at. And coming up this next week, we'll probably... You know, I'm thinking about taking a plane. I'm thinking about flying back to Montana. And to do that from here, I've got to fly out of the next town over, which is Sholo, Arizona. Uh, I have to fly from there down to Phoenix and catch a flight out of Phoenix for Bozeman, Montana. Uh, so we'll see how that goes, or if I change my mind. But uh, I don't, I just don't know, to be honest with you right at the moment. we got to do something, we need to do something. We're getting bored. Uh, at least sitting out here on this lot. And I'm just sitting out here because I just bought it and I thought it might be a good idea if I actually parked on it, camped on it for a couple of nights. Anyway, if you made it this far in the video, which lately seems nobody makes it past a minute 23, so probably because it's boring. But hey, what do you want to talk about? We're at 7 minutes, 7 minutes, 42 seconds. I mean, save the best for last and then they all miss out. So what's going on in the world right now that I see that I have an opinion about? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Trump. I'm not voting for you again. You lied to me. You lied to me about draining the swamp. And then you lied to me about putting Hillary Clinton in jail. And those were big campaign lies. So when you're out there telling me you're going to take out the deep state and expose all their secrets and you're still walking around talking, you're lying again. You know it. I know it. Apparently a few people know it, but the rest of the country seems to think that you're some sort of second coming of Jesus Christ. So we'll just leave that at that. That's my opinion. Does that mean I'm a Democrat? Hell no. Biden's an absolute moron. Absolute moron. I mean, I'm not even sure how he got the job. Oh, that's right. Our elections are faulty. Anyway, you know, that's just where that's at. I I don't watch TV, but I tend to see these things posted on Twitter or something. I really don't care what they have to say. They've destroyed the country and they're for they're trying to change the entire world. And the next person is going to be probably the worst person we ever had. In my opinion. As far as Ukraine goes. I don't stand with Ukraine. I've got nothing to do with Ukraine. Ukraine has been a lawn, money laundering scheme. For the likes of the Biden family. 
They are not a NATO member and we moved missiles into their country against an agreement with Russia. That's what they don't tell you. When Trump says he could end it in a day, yeah, he could because he would just take the missiles out. Anyway, that's my opinion for the night. Other than that, loving the dream, loving the dream. Have a good night.